It is Tuesday, February 19th, 2013. We're live in the Wall Street Journal newsroom in New York. Today on WSJ Lunch Break, South Africa. Oscar Pistorius believed a burglar was in the bathroom when he shot through the door, killing his girlfriend. That's what he says. We'll have the latest from his bail hearing. Plus, why do patients and doctors lie to each other so much? And what are the risks? We'll be talking about that as well. And we want you to meet the new upscale RVs. Now, these are vehicles inspired by Mercedes and luxury yachts. You're looking at a factory right there, but we'll be taking you inside some of them. I'm Wendy Bounds, and welcome to the show. Oscar Pistorius believed there was a burglar in the bathroom room when he fired four shots through the door, killing his girlfriend. That's according to Pistorius's lawyer, who spoke to the court in Pretoria, South Africa, during a bail hearing today. Devin Maley, who was there, joins us now from Johannesburg to discuss. Devin, uh, just, you know, Pistorius became the first disabled at, uh, runner to compete against able-bodied athletes in the London Olympics, now called up uh, in these allegations of murder, denying these allegations through his attorney today. Tell us what happened in the courtroom. Well, today uh, is just a bail hearing still. So lawyers for uh, Mr. Pistorius and also the state prosecutor laid out some basic arguments. Uh, and Mr. Pistorius's lawyer said that it, it wasn't a premeditated murder as the state's prosecutor is, is arguing, but instead was, was an accident because Mr. Pistorius believed there was a burger in the bathroom and he needed to protect both himself and, and his girlfriend, Ms. Steenkamp. They have some very, there's some very different st versions of what happened uh, between Pistorius' lawyer and the prosecution. Uh, Pistorius saying that, you know, he got up, thought there was a burglar in the bathroom. He did not have on his prosthetic legs at that point, shot through the door. But the prosecution saying they don't believe that is the case. What are they saying they think happened? The prosecutor is saying that that they think um, that, that Ms. Steenkamp had locked herself in the bathroom. They, they didn't say they knew exactly why. They, they presumed it might have been because of an argument um, and that Mr. Pistorius had put on his prosthetic legs and, and grabbed his 9mm pistol, which is kept under his bed, and then went and fired shots through the bathroom, aiming at the basin, um, three of which three of the shots hit her and, and she subsequently died. Uh, and the prosecutor said that Mr. Pistorius then uh, broke down the bathroom door and carried her downstairs, at which point he was confronted by a security guard. And at this point, the tone of the courtroom, uh, Pistorius' family there in the courtroom, it was very emotional. Can you describe it a bit to us, what happened uh, and what happened about, among people who were uh, there from his family? Yeah, I mean, a lot of his family, member, family members, including his father, his sister, and brother, were in the courtroom. Um, his brother often kept his hand on Mr. Pretorius' shoulder, and Mr. Pretorius spent most of the time crying, um, bent over in his hand, sobbing. At one point, the judge uh, paused, paused the proceedings and asked Mr. Pretorius to contain himself because both the judge couldn't concentrate and he wanted Mr. Pretorius to, to, to be aware of what was happening in the courtroom. Uh, and, and family members were really distraught. They regularly huddled around each other and, and were also in tears. All right. We'll continue to follow this case with you on WSJ.com and the paper. Thanks so much for being with us.